Hey, what's up everyone? It's Asad here. I haven't used this channel in a very long time, but uh, I'm interested in quite a few things besides magic, which is where most of you probably know me from. So I think I'm gonna start using this channel from time to time just to kind of post about some of that other stuff. In this video in particular, I'm gonna be showing you my desk. This is something that I put together during COVID because I was spending so much time at home and uh, I've been working from home in general for quite a few years now. So it was about time to build like the ultimate setup. Uh, a desk that makes me more productive, more efficient, and just uh, an environment that's enjoyable to be in and I can spend lots of hours at. So I think I've achieved that and uh, I'll show you all the different pieces uh, that are going on here. I also made a separate video on my main channel going over my new uh, YouTube studio, which is what I'm using right now. So I'll link you to that video down below in the description box if you're curious about that. But this video is gonna be focused primarily on the desk and on the productivity side of things. I also do a bit of gaming here and I have a neat way of seamlessly switching between my uh, work setup and my gaming setup. So uh, I'll show you how that works. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. Let me start off by saying that none of the items that I'm mentioning uh, have been sponsored. This is all stuff that I bought uh, just with my own money and after doing independent research. I will include links down below for all of the items mentioned if you wanna learn and see more about them. Uh, but yeah, that being said, let's dive in and uh, I'll show you what all is going on here. All right, so the main highlight of this setup is this gigantic monitor. This is a 49 inch uh, ultra wide display. It's made by Samsung. It's called the Samsung Odyssey G9. And uh, it's meant to be a gaming monitor, but it's great for work as well. Uh, I like to multitask and I ha like to have a lot of tabs open. So this is great because I can have three full-sized windows open simultaneously, making it easy to just bounce between one another and to like, cross-reference things. Um, and I love it. I used to have a dual monitor display uh, and that worked. It, it allowed me to do some of the same things, but uh, this is just so much better. Uh, it's nice not having the bezels. It's just a more aesthetic solution. And uh, I love the curve in this monitor as well. It just gives it a really nice look. And uh, apparently, you know, from a scientific perspective, it is better on your eyes. Um, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference that it's easily noticeable, but it's, it makes sense because of the curve, each area of the screen is a more equal distance away from your eye and therefore less eye strain. You don't have to adjust for depth as much. It makes sense, but <laughs> that's not really the reason I got it. It's just a cool look. It's a lot of real estate to work on and um, it just makes everything more enjoyable. And it's also great for gaming. So I do a bit of gaming on here as well. And uh, some games support the entire display and it's just awesome. It's a very immersive experience. The nice thing about this monitor is that it has a dual input. So it's connected to both my Mac, which is what I use for work, and it's also connected to my uh, PC, which is what I use for gaming. And then to switch between the two is very easy. I just hit a few buttons, boom, and boom. And now the display is uh, my PC. And if I wanna switch back, now I'm back in work mode on my Mac. And then uh, I'm also using a little bit of gear here to um, allow me to use the same mouse and keyboard for both systems. I'll talk about that in just a second. Next, let's get into um, the, the systems that I'm running, the devices. So as I mentioned, I'm using a Mac. This is a M1 Mac mini for uh, my work stuff. And uh, it's, it, it, it's nice, it's a nice form factor. It's super small, it fits on my desk nicely. It runs everything I need it to do. The most intensive thing I really do here is just uh, video editing and rendering videos and it handles that with no problem at all. I don't do any 4K video, but I imagine it would handle that with no problem as well. Um, I Yeah, I just, I've been using Macs for the longest time for work. I like the operating system. I'm just, I've grown comfortable with it. And uh, it's just my, uh, operating system of choice when it comes to work. For my PC, this is a liquid-cooled um, gaming PC from a company called EWKB. And um, I'll drop all the technical specs in the description box down below. I don't know them all at the top of my head, but it is running the new NVIDIA RTX 3080 graphics card. I was lucky enough to get it before it sold out. And uh, that's been a huge upgrade from what I was using in the past. I, um, 
I mainly play Overwatch. Um, I'm really looking forward to Diablo. That's going to be my main game when it comes out, the new one. Uh, but I also ran uh, Cyberpunk 2077 when it first came out, and uh, it ran that with no problems at all. And that's a very highly uh, resource intensive game. And it just ran super smooth and it looked beautiful. So I'm really happy about that. I also have uh, an iPad that I keep on my desk right here. This is just for um, mainly casual browsing, and then I also like to watch you know, TV shows on here. So when I'm working, I, I tend to like to have something running in the background. So I'll usually play like The Office or a Community or something um, that doesn't require too much focus, but it's just nice to have that background noise uh, while I'm working. So I use the tablet for that quite a lot. Uh, let me now go into how I kind of switch between the two setups between my Mac and my PC. So to do this, what I have here underneath um, my little mini desk here is what's called a KVM switch or a, a USB switcher. And this allows me to use the same mouse and the same keyboard for both setups. So all I have to do is I hit the button um, and I have USB cables um, or wireless USB dongles uh, for my keyboard and mouse connected to this. And by hitting that button, it basically connects it to the other device. So now when I switch to my PC setup, my mouse and keyboard work um, perfectly over here. And then to switch back, I just hit the button again, and then I switch the display to my Mac. So just a very smooth process for switching. And um, it's just nice to be able to use the same set of peripherals for both setups. Okay, uh, so let's talk about some of these accessories that I'm running. The keyboard is a Logitech G915. It's a nice keyboard. It's got a lot of extra um, buttons that you can configure however you want. It's got some nice RGB effects. Uh, it's I like the response, the tactile response for typing. And then it also has a numpad. And that's kind of a big deal for me because I do a lot of uh, spreadsheets and whatnot. So that just uh, helps save some time. For the mouse, I'm running Logitech again, G502. And just a really nice form factor. It feels good in the hand. It's got a nice little RGB effect, not a big deal. Uh, but it also has quite a few additional customizable buttons that you can configure uh, however you want. So I really like that. And it's wireless and the battery life lasts uh, a really long time. Same thing with the keyboard, wireless. Uh, another goal of my setup here was to kind of reduce the cable um, situation as much as possible and um, you know from most angles you can't really see very many cables at all at other angles it gets pretty messy so I still need to do some work on cable management but uh, for the most part it's a very clean looking setup in addition to the mouse I also use uh, um, Apple trackpad this is one thing that I really missed um, after switching away from a MacBook laptop was, you know, I got really comfortable with a lot of the gestures that are available. I decided to just get an external trackpad so I could still take advantage of that. So I use the trackpad for a lot of just scrolling through web pages and then the gestures to like switch through desktops uh, and then going backwards and forward. And then most importantly, when I'm editing videos, uh, this trackpad is a huge help being able to just scroll through the timeline and then being able to like, pinch and zoom on various clips uh, so I can uh, edit more carefully. Uh, so yeah, having both a mouse and a trackpad, game changer. Really like that a lot. What else do I have going on? Uh, okay, let's talk about the webcam. This is the Logitech Brio, uh, just for Skype calls and whatnot. Uh, it's nice to have. The video quality is pretty good. Uh, I wasn't happy with the audio quality of the internal microphone, but it's okay because I have this external microphone. This is a uh, Blue Yeti mic mounted to an articulating arm, and uh, that does a good job. Really good audio quality. And then over here, I have a uh, gaming headset uh, attached to this headset mount that I put together. Basically, I just bought a glass mannequin head off of Amazon, and then I love V for Vendetta, it's one of my favorite movies. So, and I love the Guy Fox mask, so I got that. And then using a piece of Velcro, I attached it to the glass head. And then I just wrap the headset around it. And it's just a nice way to store it when I'm not using it. The, the headset is uh, Audio-Technica. Um, I'll put the exact model number down below, but it's really good, nice audio quality. It's got a built-in microphone as well for uh, voice communication. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that. 
what else do I have going on? This little guy is called an Elgato Stream Deck. It's geared towards streamers, which I don't do any streaming yet, uh, but I use it mainly for work because you can configure um, hotkeys however you want. And so I basically just uh, put some of my most used applications and websites uh, on this thing and just with a single click I can open it. Uh, you can also configure it so that one push will open up multiple things. I really like that a lot. And it's just one of those things that kind of shaves off a few seconds a couple hundred times a day, uh, making everything easier to access. And, and so that, that was kind of a game changer for me as well. Over here I have a uh, docking station uh, for some of my other devices. It's a wireless charger for my phone. And then it also has a charger for my AirPods and then a charger for my Apple Watch all in one unit. And uh, it's just nice to kind of keep my phone there when I'm working and it just charges um, while I still get a nice display for any notifications that pop up. Uh, to pull off this entire setup, I did need a lot of ports and uh, the Mac mini has some ports on the back, but it wasn't enough. So I'm also using this um, CalDigit docking station and this gives me just a lot more USB-C ports. It gives me some more USB-A ports. It's got a display port, an ethernet cable port, an SD card reader, um, and quite a few other things. And that allows me to be fully connected and take advantage of all this stuff um, without having to deal with a bunch of dongles and whatnot. I also have a nice uh, set of speakers for when I'm not using headphones. This is the Logitech G560. Uh, nice sounding speakers. They also have like this nice RGB, it gives it a nice aesthetic. I wanted my setup to look really good. That was kind of a priority. And uh, these speakers looked really great. So it was a nice addition. Uh, and then they also come with a nice subwoofer that I have um, behind my gaming PC to give that extra bass. So it's nice audio quality. I think that covers just about all of the main pieces. Uh, if you have any questions about the setup, um, or you want any more information about any of the equipment that I'm running, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. But I hope this was helpful and it gives you some ideas on you know, what you could do with your own setup and uh, to make you more productive and to help you enjoy your work from home setup as much as possible. That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you later. Peace.